from the Spark Arena in Auckland, New Zealand. UFC Fight Night, Dan Hooker versus Ross Pearson. When you fight in your home, man, getting your ass kicked in front of 10,000 of your hometown fans, is, that just can't happen. I remember I, there was like a bunch of people with big cards of my head on them and they were like bumping them around like 20, 30 people like holding up this head. What a reception there for the local fighter, Dan Hooker. So I was going into that fight like this, either win or I die. That's my only two options. Ross Pearson promised to be a different guy in this fight. So he changed everything about the way he trained. Look for a more innovative Ross Pearson tonight. I've been a fan of that guy coming up in the game. So I viewed that one as just the honor to compete against him. He's such a technical boxer, isn't he, Pearson? He is, really nice head movement. Ross had some of the best. In my opinion, he has some of the best head movement in mixed martial arts. He can roll and slip punches, parry and catch punches very well. Dan Hooker now finding his range, landing some nice leg kicks, but establishing his jab. In the same sense, the same things that make us strong also make us weak because he's so good at that head movement. You know for certain that's what he's gonna pull out of fight now. This is really artistic striking from Hooker. I like the way that he's varying up the pace and power of that jab. There's a lot going on in there, you know, it's human chest. There's a lot of subtle positioning things going on. So I will position myself in the right place in the fight and kind of let Ross do it for me. Oh, that's it! Dan Hooker, knockout victory! That one just, it was something that I wasn't really looking for. My coach had me drilling in the gym a million times that it just naturally flowed out and came out. New Zealand's own Dan, the Hangman Hooker! To get the win was incredible, incredible. I feel like that really changed me as a fighter. It let me know that I could beat the best guys in the world. So I think my confidence grew a lot from that fight.